Good morning, YouTube. So today, uh, it's been a while. Sorry for the lack of uploads. Um, we'll get back to book reviews and everything else. I got a GoPro, and I am currently working on figuring out how to moto vlog with my car and my motorcycle. So that'll add a little bit extra as far as like my book reviews and my product reviews and everything goes. Uh, product reviews will still be tabletop, kind of like everything else has been. And book reviews will probably be done in the moto vlog uh, product. In the moto vlog uh, style. So, anyway, uh, this is, I just took a trip down to Tale of the Dragon. This is the trip down. It is exceptionally boring, so I sped it up uh, eight times speed. So that way you can get an idea. This is pretty much 75 straight down to Knoxville on... Uh, from Lexington, and it's a long, boring drive. I turned down the volume of the actual footage, so that way you didn't hear what I was listening to, because I listen to podcasts, mu music, and books, and I don't want to copy copyright strike against me. So, there's that. So for this section, we're going to talk about movies that are based on books written by Stephen King. Uh, we're going to do three of them that I just got done listening to. The Green Mile, Shawshank Redemption, and Apt Pupil. Uh, I haven't gone back and rewatched App Pupil yet, so I'm not entirely sure how good of a job they did with the uh, making it into a movie. But Shawshank and The Green Mile are two of my favorite movies of all time. They're definitely on my must-watch list, and I had no idea. I think about 10 years ago I heard that The Green Mile was a book. And I had no idea that uh, the Shawshank that Shawshank Redemption was a book written by Stephen King, nonetheless. It's actually a novella. Uh, he's actually a very prolific writer. Who knew? But uh, we'll start with The Green Mile. The Green Mile is one of the best adaptations of book to movie ever. Uh, period. End of story. They are very true to the source material. They are very true to the story and the feeling behind the book. Uh, there are some interesting things in the movie that make it entertaining, such as Michael Clark Duncan, who plays John Coffey, is not that tall. He's actually my height, like 6'4". <clears throat> and because... And because he's six foot four, uh, the actor that plays Bruno is also six foot four, and you hardly ever see Coffee and Bruno in the same shot together. And if they are, he's standing back, so that way you can't really tell how tall he is. Tom Hanks is another one. He's six foot or six foot one. And so it would be like if Michael Clark Duncan stood next to him. It would be like me standing next to my son. My son is six foot, six foot, six foot one, somewhere in that area. And I'm six four. And it's just, it's not that big of a difference. My son definitely doesn't come up to my shoulders. So because of that, they had to do some fancy editing and some camera work and stuff like that. It's really interesting to watch. Um, Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank Redemption is easily one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, the book is phenomenal. Uh, it's a little bit interesting. Uh, the 
movie would have you believe that Tim Robbins character actually uh, served only under one warden and he actually served under like four according to the book otherwise very well adapted i think the choice of morgan freeman as red is a good change in the book he's actually a red-headed irishman but they make light of that in the movie when uh morgan freeman goes when tim robbins goes why do they call you red and he goes i don't know maybe because i'm irish funny book uh and apt pupil apt pupil was very interesting uh apt pupil for those of you that don't know is basically about a kid who discovers that his neighbor is a uh nazi war criminal who was in charge of one of the death camps during world war ii and he makes him basically through blackmail relive everything and basically turns the kid into like a little psycho and uh insanity ensues uh i would highly recommend watching the movie i would also highly recommend reading the book the book is phenomenal it's a very short read i want to say shawshank and at pupil were like eight or nine hours of listening time so it's pretty much nothing uh no nothing as far as uh time goes so anyway that's my video for today hope you enjoy the footage coming out over the ne next couple weeks will be my footage from tale of the dragon and yeah oh can't forget we get to see Greg Peters in the wild. Hopefully. I haven't gone through the footage yet, but we'll see.